What's going on there folks? Good afternoon, good evening to a few out there. It is the Earthmaster back here on this, uh, what is it, Friday night? I believe it's Friday night already, May 19th, 2023. Uh, it is about 7.01 p.m. here along the west coast in the state of California. And we have a, uh, another large earthquake coming into the area here of the Loyalty Islands region. Uh, this is the same area that seen the 7.7 .7 earthquake here uh, just a short time ago. Uh, this is coming off of a, uh, looks like a 7.4 earthquake coming in right now to the uh, area. Um, I was just looking at the seismograph stations here and that is indeed a rather large earthquake showing up across a couple of the seismograph stations and as listed on the globe here it looks like uh, there's a 6.8 in there uh, and also a 7.4 so a little questionable activity but the USGS is reporting this as a 7.4 at 44 kilometers deep now we pulled up historical data back here um, last night in the update and I didn't see any eight well actually I did see an eight pointer a little bit further up north towards Port Villa area and um, this area is showing a little bit of seismic activity as well not for sure if uh, we're looking at potentially an eight pointer brewing out here or not but I would say uh, I would be on guard because to have two seven pointers in a short amount of time of each other is uh, very interesting definitely very interesting here uh, so we'll bring up the last seven days of activity here, considering that the 7.7 .7 has been over uh, 24 hours now. Of course, uh, looks like about, uh, oh, 7 o'clock or so, 6 o'clock, close to that time frame. Yesterday, we seen that 7.7 .7 come in uh, into the trench region. And that was just uh, a little bit further to the east here of right now 7. Uh, uh, the other 7.4 that's coming in here to the area. So this is uh, definitely um, some interesting activity taking place here currently uh, into this area of the Southeast Loyalty Island region now. Uh, up here roughly south of the Port Bella region, about 100 miles south or so. Further up this trench, we've seen a uh, eight-pointer back. Uh, let me bring up the historical data here real quick and see what we have. This is rather interesting because we don't see this much activity unless we know that something's uh, getting ready to pop out here and in terms of larger scale movement. I'm going to bring up 7.0 and above. Um, we're just going to check out historical models out here since about the year 1000. Uh, no, sp no specific reason why I did that, but hey, I just want to make sure I cover that. So the Vanuatu area is a major subduction zone. I do want to cover this area and see what we have for potential large damaging earthquakes historically. And it looks as though the largest magnitude was an 8.1. Again, as I mentioned, a little bit further up north here towards the Port Villa area, but still within the subduction zone. And that was back in 1920. So we're looking at over 100 years ago um, since that earthquake, at least an 8.1 struck back then. Um, so... Uh, is it possible we could see an eight pointer uh, with this type of setup with this type of activity we're seeing today uh, absolutely uh, you know to see a uh, another seven pointer here following a 7.7 .7 yesterday is rather odd as you can see most of the earthquakes here are in the upper seven range but this is definitely uh, an area of interest here uh, right now with this type of activity it has been reviewed by a seismologist i believe as noted on the usgs map 45 kilometers deep and it looks again a little bit further to the west here of the main shaker which was centered right about here just about 30 miles or so uh, to the west so we'll continue to watch this area um that's that's rather odd folks look at that this looks very similar to what we've seen yesterday identical seismograph stations here and uh, let's well just go ahead and check out the tsunami statement here i know last night kicked up a uh, little bit of uh, tsunami worry uh, currently no tsunami warning advisory watch or threat in place this is according to the uh, u.s department of commerce here the u.s tsunami warning center the national data buoy center these events i was just checking out these uh, buoys here these are still in event mode from last night so they have not reset these <laughs> they have not reset any of these buoys and uh 
A couple of these, of course, did go into event mode last night due to water column height. So pretty crazy, folks. Again, a uh, 7.4 earthquake occurring. I, I guess this would be considered an aftershock. Um, considering the main one yesterday was a 7.7, .7, there is definitely a energy difference between a 7.4 and a 7.7. .7, but to have two sevens there within uh, 24 hours, or roughly 24 hours of each other, is is a uh, very suspect here. So watch potentially uh, to see maybe something larger up here around the Vanuatu and the Port Villa area. I'm talking about an eight pointer, uh, and that's. Uh, it's a possibility. It's been since about 1920 or so, a little bit further up this bend. Uh, we'll cover this and more, folks, a little bit later on with the update. Uh, until then, stay safe because uh, this is looking um, pretty crazy out here. Going to be ringing the earth like a bell again uh, for the second time here in uh, 24 hours. We'll catch you guys back here in a little bit uh, with tonight's update.